Hello. Sorry, guys. Been a little MIA this week. Lots of stuff happening with my kids and just family stuff and things that I couldn't avoid. So, uh, Biatch's Breakfast Tarot will be back next week. This is a timeless reading. So, let's get to it. We're going to see the energies between the twin flames at this time. Masculine will be on this side. Feminine will be on this side. Remember, it's not gender. Take what resonates. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. Let's get to it, guys. All right. Let's see what's going on with the twin flames. Let me do one more shuffle here like this. I did shuffling here before, but I feel I need to do another three. It is what it is, right? So let's take a look. I'm hoping this is not too long, but I feel a lot of energy coming through. So yeah, let's see what's going on with the twins. What's going on with the masculine and feminine soulmates or higher level soulmates, whatever label you want to call it. Not into labels. You know, you know who your person is. Okay. So what's happening between them right now, we have the three of wands in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to wait anymore. Um, we have the ten of pentacles. No longer wanting to wait for a certain foundation, no a change of plans in a certain foundation, changing up the foundation, um, missing opportunities because of a foundation. Um, there is a lot about, you know, how to build something very stable. And it's interesting, I just got new cards, so look at this Ten of Pentacles. It's, you know the memory of our emotions and see these like spirits here and these this couple the memories of what could have been in a certain foundation and no longer waiting for your ships to come in this is you know the three of wands with this boat you see coming in but it's like it's done it's already passed I may have missed the, the boat on this. I may have missed what was happening here. So let's see what the masculine's thinking right now with the divine feminine. We have the page, sorry, the knight of swords in reverse. Okay. Meaning that he may have been a little rash in certain things. Knowing that he has to put a stop to certain types of behavior. Okay. Knowing that... He's all over the place right now when he thinks about the Divine Feminine. He's really feeling like he may have missed something here with her. And uh, because of his generational wealth or his family or the foundation, it, it's something that he couldn't build with her. He could have, but he chose not to or, you know, things got in the way or just never got off the ground. And he may have felt that he was too rash in his mind. He's thinking about this. He was too quick to move into a new direction. And I feel that's what gets him in trouble. He's too fast in his decision-making process. So he's trying to put a stop to that. Let's see where the Divine Feminine is right now. She is at the Two of Swords. So she's back and forth because I think she feels... His energy, it's up, it's down, it's all around. It's um, very potent, but then it's like, and this is like, she's in water here, right? And it's like, I still don't know where this is going. And she's in her head as well, too. So they're definitely thinking about each other. This uh, feminine is in her feels about you know, maybe ab uh, yeah, about this rash movement. And she's in her feels at this time. I'm really getting that. And, you know, I need stability. I want stability. This is a missed opportunity. Do I stay or do I go? Do I wait? Do I find someone new? Do I manifest? Do I create? What do I, what do, I do with this? So let's see how the mask is feeling right now. He's walking away. He's feeling the repercussions of walking away from something so divine with that Eight of Cups. You see, he's looking towards his foundation. So he's highly thinking about, there's a house there in the background, so I didn't hold that up. And he's following his intuitive knowing with that moon. See, there's a castle there. And he's really at this point of 
following his heart. Yeah, he's following his heart, but he doesn't, he's backtracking. He's like, I left something that could have been, and I may have missed this opportunity with my divine feminine for something else. I'm moving on in another direction, but now I'm turning my back on that rash type of energy in my mind and looking back towards this foundation because there's a castle here and there's like a, a tower here. The divine feminine, her feelings is judgment so she's going through a renewal process right now she feels something is happening but she can't quite place it so where they're mirroring right now is because the masculine is looking towards the divine feminine the masculine is walking away from certain situations and looking at this missed opportunity and looking towards the divine feminine and saying you know i'm feeling this i'm feeling your emotions and the divine feminine's in her head like I don't know where this is going but I can feel something is changing here okay let's see his intentions towards the divine feminine wow the emperor really taking control of the situation really looking at what he needs to do to make things right he knows he's been up in his head he's dropping down into his feelings and he's combining the heart and the mind. Now, they say when the heart and the mind are aligned, you can manifest. So he's manifesting here, guys, okay? And he's walking away from all of those rash decisions that he's made. I, I don't feel that they were prosperous or for fulfilling at all, okay? And he knows that this divine feminine is not waiting anymore to build up her foundation and what she wants in her life okay so the divine feminine's intentions and actions is seven of wands she's a little defensive here guys not gonna lie she's a bit on the fence here she's like hmm i don't know and she's at this crossroads too about these feelings right she's at this crossroads with these feelings because she's like i'm feeling this change but is it like or is this just another energetic shift that we're going through is this just another you know elevation point so she's trying not to pay mind to it and just stand her ground she's really giving the masculine the energy yo like i i'm fighting for a resurrection of my life and this masculine can definitely feel this feminine's defensive energies which is making him rise up so the stronger this divine feminine is in her detachment of her masculine and being like, yo, I know my self-worth. I know how you need to come to me. I know what I deserve. Um, and not in an aggressive way. I don't feel this feminine is doing it in an aggressive way. I feel like she's doing it more in like, I've had to fight all of these ghosts and ghouls in my life. And unless you want to, do that with me <laughs> i can't have you against me is what she's saying to the divine masculine and his outcome that he desires the divine feminine is the knight of wands in reverse so he doesn't want to be a player anymore he wants to be this masculine emperor here okay he wants to show her that he has elevated okay he doesn't sorry there's a glare there guys he doesn't want oh that's so much better he doesn't want to be seen as this child that he was in the past okay and the outcome with divine feminine here is she's moving on then we have the sorry guys not the light is <laughs> can't win can't win right this divine feminine is moving on here with that six of yeah i'm gonna have to do that guys with that six of uh swords here She's in regret, you know, she's sitting here with her hand, you know, on her, on her chin and just being like, I didn't want to leave, you know, but I, she's, and she's still thinking about this, right? Her defensiveness, her renewal in life. She wants something fresh. She's tired with the old frequency. And so this is her back and her push and pull within herself. Um, but she's standing really strong in her action of being like, yo, I'm not, I'm not dealing with, with that. I may think about it, 
I know that I'm feeling a, re a reconciliation or I'm feeling this like heightened energy, but I'm still going to move forward. I'm still going to push forward and move forward. Okay. Um, wow. Let's get some twin flame oracles on that, guys. Really amazing. Let's take a look. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. So we have this energy here of missed opportunity, but this feminine is really not paying mind to this masculine. She's, you know, she's gone through her ego death here. This skeleton is rising out of the grave, looking towards her future and spirit is like reaching down for your hand, the divine feminine. And even though it's regretful, you're still being very strong in your convictions here. Your head may be back and forth, but your heart knows that you want something new. And in your actions in your life, it's showing. Um, we have numbing, reinvention, and compromise, if that means anything to you. But I'm not going to take them right now. Um, she's really like, yeah, but I'm going to just stand my ground and move into a new vibration anyways, because that's what I need to do for myself. If anything, she's coming to a higher place of self-love and it's activating this divine masculine to take control of his life as well, because she's activated the masculine energy within herself to stand her ground. It's pushing this masculine. See, he's in the emperor. It's helping him rise in the same placement, right? She's, uh, this Divine Feminine is standing very strong in her inner knowing. And he's actioning that in his life. Okay, so with him looking back towards her, you know, in his heart space and walking away from karmic situations, that's because she's turned her back here with that skeleton looking towards God and spirit and saying, yeah, like, <laughs> I want the resurrection of my life, no matter what that entails. Okay. So really powerful stuff. Let's take a look. We're going to do the same placements of how I did the cards and see what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So both of them are at a place in the connective energy of wanting to build a new foundation, but not waiting around for this and thinking it's a missed opportunity. It's all of this loss with the masculine that's helping him rise up. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to go to such extremes for the masculines um, to act on divine timing. And it's not, I don't wanna put it that way for you to think that it's like an extreme and dark and stuff like that. It's more of um, creating enough distance and space. This is why separation happens so that it gives him room to learn about his masculine alchemizing skills he can't learn it if you're close because he's too entwined and and rooted in his divine feminine he needs that space to rise up that's why separation happens so let's take a look here this is why it's been quiet here we have the three uh between the two of them they both are feeling this quiet mute energy here and um because there was no communication or lack thereof or a dishonest communication. It's more of a less now, um, it's a missed opportunity. We have winter. This is more or less not season. Something may be happening this winter, but I'm more feeling that it is a, an aspect of being frozen in time of what could have been. Okay, so there's a lot of nostalgia that's happening at this time. Let's see the masculine energy in his mind. We have spring. So could be this spring, could have been last spring that there was this change. But spring to me means something is blooming, something is changing. He has to stop making such rash decisions. He needs to stop being this knight. You know, knights just come and go. They're not stable. They're just, they, they message, they send the message. And they, they leave. And he knows he can't come towards Divine Feminine that way. Divine Feminine's at a crossroads because she's awakening to her own crossroads in her life. She's like, I can't be in this back and forth push and pull within myself. That's what's manifesting as well. I need to get very clear about my life. I need to know that I need this resurrection in my heart. So she's feeling the vibration change. Masculine is now looking at Divine Feminine in his heart saying, I want to communicate. 
I'm feeling you damn well walk away from me. I need to talk to you now, okay? And Divine Feminine in her heart is saying, you're wearing a damn mask. You're wearing a mask and I cannot deal with anybody that is not authentic in communicating their feelings and having those hard conversations. She knows it's hard. She knows it's going to be an ego death about speaking up her truth and having these hard conversations. But it looks like because she's turned away, because the mask has been wearing a mask and she's been wearing, she's realizes she's wearing a mask. If she stays in this vibration, she's not being honest with herself. If she's consist, consistently, you know, going in this back and forth, back and forth energy. So she's had an awakening of what she deserves, what she wants with or without her masculine, that if she doesn't get really authentic with herself to manifest in her life, then she's going to continue wearing that mask and it's going to force the masculine to express himself in a mask because that's how the twins work, right? You're completely mirroring each other. And so now that she's having a renewal out of her mask, she's being so authentic with herself. She's following, even though it might be painful, um, this masculine is now wanting to communicate, okay? Because he knows that it's probably frozen in time, it's gone too much time, it's gone on, or it's just a missed opportunity that he's feeling her resurrection. He's feeling her going into the new frequency. So let's see here. He feels abandoned. He has to take control of this, his abandonment issues. See, when this feminine, let's see what her defensive energy, she's standing her ground. Oh yeah. See, look at that divine masculine. She's standing her ground against this divine masculine. She's like, yo, I'm not, uh, I ain't playing here. Like, I don't know what's going on with you, but I ain't playing. Like, I'm really serious about standing my ground here with you because I don't want what I've always had, right? And he's feeling this abandonment. He's feeling the defense energy and that's forcing him. Guys, You, this is Divine Feminine when you're on fire, the volcano, right? That's a purifying energy the Divine Feminine has. It's also honoring your dark feminine side in the shadow of fire and brimstone in a sense, right? Of where the volcano, the volcano, seeing a volcano, like when the lava comes up from the deep wells of the earth, it's like, no, that's not good for me. This vibration sucks ass. I don't want it. I'm back and forth all the time. And she's awakened to this push and pull within herself and realizing that's divine masculine as well as a masculine um, aspect within myself that I'm not actioning this in my life. So she's very strong now with the divine masculine. He is helping this masculine take control of his life and stand up and be like, yo, I may have missed something amazing because I'm taking my sweet ass time. Cause this feminine is ripping off her mask and it's helping this masculine realize and have a regrowth and a reestablished uh, energy in himself that he's feeling that he needs to talk to his divine feminine. The outcome here for Divine Masculine towards the Feminine is like he knows, again, we have two knights here. So this Masculine has made a huge jump because I don't see any kings yet. Well, we're going to clarify, but he's moved. He's had like some massive awakening. He's gone from a knight right past the king stage right into an emperor. So he's had some type of, it could have been a loss in his family. I feel like someone may have lost their mother. Um, it could have been a car accident, seeing that he may have been in a car accident with broken a leg or femur. I'm hearing femur. There's something that he's may have been really sick as well, that he's had a near-death experience. I'm getting that there's had to be some really strong, powerful changes that had to wake this masculine up, but show him his abandonment. I almost feel like he may have had a, a life fat flash or a really intense dream um, that spirit just reiterated in him that it's done. Like you, you keep doing the same thing in your abandonment issues. And, um, it really sat strong with this masculine. I'm surprised the tower isn't here. So whatever happened to awaken this masculine, it's like a next level awakening. Okay. That he went from a, a knight right to an emperor. So the outcome here with this knight of wands, it's like, I can't, you know, I can't even message her with some sexy message and be like, hey, baby, I miss you or play those player ways or send like ridiculous, immature song lyrics or memes or things like that. He's like, I can't play the way I played before. <laughs> OK, so the outcome that he's seeing here is he's alone. 
he's going to end up alone if he doesn't stop this. This one wanted to come out, look at this, as well. Um, and this was supposed to go over here as so a divine feminine here. She's taking the union, and Spirit wanted me to put this one here. He knows that the divine feminine would rather be alone than to deal with his immaturity. She don't care, guys. She's just like, I'm moving forward, right? Summer, she's had an illumination. Things are warming up in her life wherever she's moving towards. And that could have been this summer that she's had a realization. Um, it could be next summer. I don't like to put time on tarot or spirit or energy because everyone has free will. Things change all the time. So I'm really feeling here that she's at a point where she's like, no, well, yeah, no, I'm illuminated to this now. I'm completely moving on into a new direction. So... All right, let's see. So this masculine is now blooming in his feelings. How is he blooming in his feelings here, spirit? How is he blooming in his feelings? He's fighting this now. These new feelings are arising and it's really affecting him. He's battling it out. He's realizing, I actually have really strong feelings and a lot of regret. Five, five, lots of change happening here, guys. Okay, a lot of regret about his, the way that he acted. Something is occurring in his masculine energy in his mind he's really thinking about look how he's standing here saying goodbye to the divine feminine as she's in that boat moving away it may have been the last time that he saw you divine feminine he may have watched you move away on a train or at the airport or in a car or you just walking away from him or it could have been even the last text he's re going over and over if he did it through text just the last in interaction that he had with you. He's been battling that situation for a long time in his mind. And he's realizing, oh my God, that's because I'm in love with this, this person. And let's do that. Let's grab, um, okay, Spirit is saying, let's grab a message from the masculine about that because he's really overthinking this, guys. He's really thinking about the last time of the last conversation that he had. And he's like, Greg, I'm, I have to change now. Fives are all about challenges and changing. And so something is blossoming here. What is the message that he'd like to say to Divine Feminine at this time? So we're going to take, I was going to take just the white, but Spirit is saying he's connected to his Divine Feminine on the inside. So the black is Divine Feminine and the white is Masculine. And it says, I love you in all ways and all forms, including how I love God. So he's had this recognition of his feelings on the inside, which is divine feminine energy, that he is in love. The way that he loves the universe, however he connects to God through nature, through meditating, through whatever it is, tarot, whatever it is, right? Um, prayer. Um, he's recognizing he's been tapped into his feminine this whole time and he's in love with her because he loves her the way that he loves God. And that's surfacing and he's been fighting that and battling that. And he's at the point now that he's in this place of regret. Okay. So that's activating divine feminine to some kind of awakening here. Because he's blossoming and planting those seeds in the energy with her. She's now seeing truth about her back and forth. About her inability to alchemize things in her life. Okay, so she's having a deep awakening within herself. No, I'm not going to take it. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is because of his abandonment issues. She's thinking and activating that she can't stay here anymore. Okay, she can't wait. She can't stay on pause. Whatever that energy was stopping her, she has to be very dead honest with herself. And she's thinking about that. This back and forth, I can't um, keep doing this anymore. I'm going to just hold my truth really strong in this crossroads energy, okay, so that I can actually prevail and end where I'm stuck in my life because I don't want to be stuck in my life anymore. And, and because she's being so honest with herself and looking at those crossroads and awakening, it's bringing up these feelings for Divine Masculine. He's now tapping into the feminine energy within himself. And he's saying to the feminine, I love you in all ways, in all forms, including how I love God. He's coming into that realization. So what is the feminine's 
message here to the masculine and she's in her feminine energy too okay so both masculine and feminine are in their mind space but they're both tapped into feminine energy within themselves okay divine feminine is saying i feel so abandoned when i can't feel you i know i'm pulling at your energy but i'm in so much pain right now i'm sorry i know you need space she's realizing that when she doesn't feel her masculine at this back and forth space she doesn't like it. And so she's realizing that that also keeps me in a place of stagnancy here. Tell me about this. Yeah, she becomes emotionally disoriented with the Queen of Cups in reverse. She starts to um, hinder herself um, that she stays waiting or she's in a depressed state or she can't function. And she's like, this is why I have to be so strong in my truth. This is why I can't be in this place when I can't feel him. It's triggering um, when he takes space, her codependent issues of attachment in the energy that she can't, if she doesn't feel them, that she has to realize that it is an aspect of growth. It's that separation space I was talking about that it, it helps the masculine come into an alchemizing state. And so she's being really strong now in her mind and having an awakening that she won't choose that anymore. And so this masculine now, he's, feeling that he wants to talk to divine feminine here with that eight of cups he's walking away from certain things and maybe wanting to talk to her about why he walked away he's ending con and why he ended this contract tell me about this in his heart towards divine feminine mm, he's manifesting he wanted to practice how to come into this masculine energy this is what i'm getting He's feeling things manifesting in his life that's pulling him back towards the divine feminine in his heart and knows that he, it's time for him to maybe communicate about why he ended this contract, why he didn't collaborate with her, why he didn't work with her, why he didn't give her solid offers, uh, you know, that it's manifesting now. He was waiting for God's direction too, is what I'm seeing and feeling with this. Um, and because he's, yeah victorious okay um the competition moving out of a dark space that it's now um coming into a higher frequency he feels himself moving into a higher frequency he feels himself moving into the alchemizing man uh, magician energy he's feeling that he doesn't have to compete right so this energy of feeling um the fight and the regret and everything that he's been fighting and that the love is just over blooming and moving everything um through him yes his mind might still be fighting and yes he's still thinking about all his regret and the last time that he saw his feminine he's also at a place of feeling like wow that must mean that it's manifesting it's manifesting his heart and his mind are getting aligned that's what i'm really seeing and he's like i need to communicate this to the divine feminine because I feel that we need to create something together. Let's take a look at his message towards Divine Feminine. What message does he have for Divine Feminine? Oh, we have, he's really tapped into feminine energy, guys. He's deeply within his feels, okay? So he's really moving out of that, that toxic masculine headspace. This is what he'd like to say. I know you're hurt and I want to help you, but the more I try, the more you run. It brings up so many inadequacies in myself when I thought I had healed so much of my self-esteem already. I began to question all of the healing I did before we, we met. Now I realize I'm in a loop of chasing and avoiding this pain of not loving myself fully. This means digging deeper than I ever have before in myself. And in, and in, sorry, and in hindsight, it feels better to help you than to do this by myself. So this means digging deeper than I ever have before. And in hindsight, feels better to help you than to do this by myself. But I know that's a fear I have to heal. And I have to heal that too. So this mask is really talked into the divine feminine and, and feeling like, you know, I want to come forward. I want to do this with you. But I have to actually figure this out for myself. Um, and he wants to communicate this with the divine feminine and say, you know, I thought I healed, but you bring up a lot of my self-esteem issues. You bring up a lot of my ina inadequacies. And I saw that as maybe a negative in the past, but I'm overcoming that now. That's why I ended this. Because 
I didn't feel good in myself when I was around you. I didn't feel, and it wasn't even a place of worthiness. I'm getting that um, he thought he was at a certain point of elevation. I'm getting that. Um, and then when he met his divine feminine, he's like, whoa, I'm not even anywhere near that vibration. So he has a lot of appreciation for this divine feminine. And he wants to talk to her about that. He wants to talk to her about his feelings and, and he's tapped into his feminine side and, and say, you know, it was because it wasn't like he didn't feel good enough. I mean, on a certain aspect, of course, that it all goes down to self-love, but it's also about he had a bit of an ego around how much he had already worked on in his life. And then boom, this woman shows up and it's like, what? I'm not as like awakened as I thought I was. <laughs> And it's showing Divine Feminine here. That's interesting. That's really interesting. It's showing his competition within himself. And so this Divine Feminine is here stating, well, this mask here, okay, this mask here is something that I've been wearing as well. So let's take a look at that. What is this renewal out of her own mask of instability sorry no it's not it's the ace of pentacles so she's ready for a new beginning because of this mask what is this mask tell me about this mask a little bit more spirit the hierophant in reverse i feel it's how she's actually looked at uh, marriage happiness ten of pentacles so she's looking at maybe what she thought this marriage was about what this union was about and she's like okay if this is what it is um i want true happiness now if that's something that this can't happen because of too many masks too many deceit th too many things of deceit too many um indicators that people don't want to learn their lessons or put traditions to rest not everybody wants to do that everyone has free will she's like i don't want to yeah i'm ending that cycle i don't want something i don't want to wear a mask for my my the rest of my life anymore I, I want something real i want something tangible um i can't stay again in this vibration because it closes me off i have to be really strong that i want a, a marriage i i may want tradition she's realizing i may want maybe not in tradition in the sense of how marriage looks by most people but she wants some she wants something stable and she's realizing it may not happen with this masculine and it's pushing this masculine here to communicate, right? Because it's showing his self-esteem issues. And because she's working in her heart space about her self-worth and her self-esteem issues, she's like, I deserve a holy marriage. And she's taking off her mask of what she really wants, okay? And putting the end of a cycle of not being honest with herself. So what, is she, what would she like to say to the divine masculine here? God, and the, these twins here are much, very connected. Both of them are really in the feminine energy at this time, okay? Feminine, divine feminine is saying to the masculine, I see my Lord in you. I have dreams of your divinity. I honor the Father, Creator, Source in you. This love humbles me. Wow, guys, see how they're mirroring? How this feminine loves her creator in the masculine aspect of God and feeling that out is the same way that this masculine loves his creator and the feminine aspect of God. Do you see how they're both merging in the feeling, in the energy of how they love God? That's so beautiful. And it's helping this masculine rise up into taking control of his, whoa, of his abandonment issues. What? Okay, we're going to take it. This landed right here. So we're going to just read both of these for the masculine. Because we're already at 34 minutes. So we have temperance with the two of wands in reverse. The knight. I'm oh, sorry, the page. No, that's the knight. Oh, no, that's the page. Yeah, sorry, that's the page of wands. The two of pentacles and the fool in reverse. Okay. So this masculine is taking control of things right now. Um, 
I'm going to pull for the last. The action and the outcome here, they want me to read together. So he sees his queen of pentacles here as the divine feminine. He's seeing her, that she deserves the stability here. And he knows that he's back and forth right now um, about this new beginning because he knows he still has some healing to do before he can get on this path. And he is getting on the path. He's made the decision to get on this path. Um, but this, And he knows his, he's doing it because his divine feminine is his queen of pentacles. And she's gone through a really difficult time, right? That she's alone and she's working through her own darkness is what I'm seeing here. And he's recognizing that... Um, he put her in that darkness with his dishonesty because he abandoned his feminine within himself. So he's been healing the feminine qualities, which we're seeing in the messages. And he's made this decision here to, to get over this pain now of abandonment. Tell me about this. He wants a reunion here because he's been sad without her. He can't, he can't move forward here. Can you see how this is like two children hiding from the sun here? You know, it's a, that's the innocence that he's lost. He's been in a dark place, and so he's been back and forth, but he knows that this back and forth, he has to take control and make this decision, or he's not going to have a new beginning with his divine feminine. He sees that she's she might be alone, um, or he may be alone right now working on it, take it as it resonates. Um, but she, whatever she's done, she's taken time to herself to come into this Queen of Pentacles, right? And she's not going to take dis dishonesty or any type of lies or any kind of like malfeasance. <laughs> Why am I hearing malfeasance? What is that? What? Uh, so it could have been really bad. It could have been really bad. And and this feminine is, he knows that he has to come correct. So let's take a look at this. How does he know about this queen of pentacles here? Even though she's alone, she'd rather be alone. Three of pentacles in, sorry, five pentacles in return. If he's to return, wow, he has to be this king of pentacles to her. He knows that it's about marriage and commitment, okay? He is completely aware of that. So he's working on that at, as we speak. Let's see, because he's sad. So he's healing certain things right now for this reunion, trying to get over his pain. What is that? Mm -hmm. Before he breaks things down. So he's getting it right in his mindset. He's getting it right in his heart before he takes action here of breaking his old world down. That's why he can't move forward right now. Nine of Wands. He can't persevere this right now because he's still getting in that right mind space. It's almost like an urgency. Like he's like, Please. I'm trying to do it as fast as I possibly can. Uh, you know, but there's only so much that you can do when you heal layers and you go in and then you heal again and then you integrate. He's realizing that he wants to become this um, in order to reveal this truth to Divine Feminine here. And his return that he's for once because he wants to bring her stability. He wants to bring her marriage. He wants to bring her a home life. He's getting close. He's getting close. Let's see what message he has here. Two more messages from the masculine to the feminine. Here, here we go. I'm in a dark place and can't handle your words right now. Here comes the masculine energy. So this is where he's balancing still. See how much he was in the feminine side? Now he's really balancing this out. I'm having breakthroughs in my healing. Can you feel me, my darling? I can't wait to show you the new me. I want you to be proud of me. Oh, that's so cute. Um, so yeah, in his intention action, he is breaking through, but he hasn't fully broken down with that tower. He hasn't fully hit the point of uh, a moving out of the old frequency, but he is headed in that direction. His, his focus is on it. He knows where he's going. He's using the divine feminist for his beacon of light, like the lighthouse on the, on, you know, in a, when he's out to, in a dark storm on the ship, it's like, he's, he's focused. He's in his masculine energy in his intentional action is what I'm seeing here. Okay. He knows that he can't quite move forward yet, but he wants this union. Okay. And this divine feminine, because he feels that he's rising up because divine feminine is very in her defensive energy. And she's like, yeah, well, you need to do this work. Yep. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Bef before you bring an offer, whatever you're stuck in, stay stuck and balance it. So this feminine is sending that message to him too. She's like, I'm moving forward. It doesn't matter if it's meant to be. It will be. Um, I want karmic justice. I want, I don't want... <laughs> To be stuck here we've been in this hangman position she's stuck in this hangman waiting 
period almost, but she's gaining enlightenment in, in it because it's been frozen in time, right? Because we have the winter here at the beginning. This whole foundation to come to fruition is still in a, it needs to be thought out. And she's okay with that. She's, she's saying in the energy, it's fine. I see where you're at. I'm ending the cycle. I'm feeling the renewal process. So she's recognizing in the intuition that there is some kind of renewal process that's happening with her masculine, right? So he can't handle the energy right now because he's still in a dark place trying to having breakthroughs, which is amazing. And she's feeling all of that, right? Divine Feminine is feeling it. And she's having a soft heart too. She's defensive, but she's still soft. And she's saying, yeah, I get it. Um, I know you're ending a relationship right now, or I know you're ending certain karmic situations right now. I know that you're bringing karmic justice to us. We have the four of pentacles in reverse and she's letting this go. She's allowing things to um she's not hanging on to the energy right she's like okay that's cool um so she's moving forward she gained her illumination she's like okay you just keep doing what you're doing you're having your breakthroughs she's like i know you're not ready to action this new offer towards me yet she's illuminated so i'm moving forward until you're ready to action that tell me about this Yeah, Ten of Swords, because it's done. There's absolutely nothing else that we can do in this situation. She And she's completely aware of that. So she's like, I know that there's another offer for me elsewhere, or I know that I'm being offered by the universe to move forward. I gain a lot of illumination in this situation. I know what I want. Like, come correct or don't come at all. I'm okay, like, with how I am. She's having this breakthrough and she's like, he doesn't want to action at this offer because she can feel him waking up with the hermit in reverse. So she knows her masculine is going through a renewal process because she's also going through a renewal process. So she's understanding the mirroring effect of what's happening in their connection at this time. And this has to do with his action, right? His transformations, his breakthroughs. She knows that he can't focus and work on it with her at this time. Because he's going through the same thing. So it's not that she's in a butthurt place. She's just very aware that, that he's dealing with this Queen of Wands here. I was just going to clarify that to a cup. So he's ending a karmic situation. She knows that it's back and forth. And she, she knows that he's closing off the past. So she's closing off the past. She knows if she moves forward, then she's going to gain. And she gives to herself, okay, that there's going to be some type of union. Look at this. She's going to be given union. So she's not, and she and she's not hanging on to the masculine per se, but she knows that union can come for her in this lifetime, and so she's holding that frequency of love within herself and really just doing her thing. You know, doing her thing. She she may be dating. She may be whatever, but she's just she's not attached. I'm not getting an attached feeling. She's just enjoying life and what life is presenting for her at this time and just being soft with herself in that okay yeah she's and she knows that there's um whatever has happened here there was no man there was no fruition there's no manifestation out of the situation so she's okay with giving to herself to bring in okay picking up god's cup to move out of that stagnant place four of cups in reverse right See, here's spirit coming to the divine feminine saying, you know, here I'm offering this to you. And she's picking it up and she's moving. And that's helping the masculine come into this king of pentacles here. Tell me about that. Yes, to come in and communicate, to come in and to discover more. He's definitely feeling communication, but if he comes forward, it's going to be like he can't handle it right now. But he's definitely feeling that the divine feminine may want that communication but she's she's actually okay um, not receiving it at this time because she's moving through her own stuff and where her attachments are. And so she's like, it's overly burdened if he can't do it. And she's having this understanding energy about it, okay? She knows that the toxic situation, we have the lovers and the devil in reverse. This is definitely twin flame energy when you have such potent opposites, dark and light, both in reverse, knowing that you know, um, this destined star energy can't fully come around yet until this heartbreak has been dealt with and the illusions have been dealt with and the delays have been dealt with 
and things that have been blocked completely come to an end with the karmic energies and or it's just going to be stuck and halted you know for a while and she's not waiting for that you see what i'm saying so let's see what messages she has for the divine masculine what messages is the mass the feminine have towards the divine masculine right now can we get two what does the feminine have to say to the masculine at this time she's in her masculine energy too just a little bit here she's saying i see you everywhere so many things remind me of you so she's still getting a lot of synchronicities in the energy and you are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity i've ever been blessed to cross paths with so she feels that from her masculine she hears a masculine saying that and it's giving her this understanding of of seeing him in her reality so this is how she knows that he's shifting she's getting signs of him she's like hearing songs she's getting synchronistic knowings and she knows that she's loved and i feel she may have doubted that love but she's coming into awareness that this love never goes away so it's okay for her to do what she needs to do beautiful beautiful i want to pull a little bit more um let's get some other love messages here. Let's see what else the masculine would like to say. What would the masculine like to say to the feminine at this time? What else would the masculine like to say? Thank you. And what would the feminine like to say to the masculine? Thank you, one more. What else would like the feminine like to say to the masculine? Thank you. Masculine to the feminine. No matter what life changes, sorry, no matter what changes life brings, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose because of you. I feel safe. I am forever grateful. Thank you. Oh, and that's why she's feeling that love and she she's it's helping the feminine realize that she is love. No matter what has happened, this love doesn't die. It doesn't, it doesn't, it can't. It's there. It has been from this point of creation to the end of whatever. There's no beginning, there's no end. It's always been there and she's feeling that and masculine is giving that to her at this time divine masculine trust in the power of love trust in the healing power of love for it is only through love that happiness is possible observe all that transpires but don't get emotionally attached the storm will clear you can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive. Ooh, that's what the masculine is doing. He's in that dark place back and forth, but he's realizing that love, he's doing it for love. He's moving toward love, anything for this sacred love. Because he's tapped in and he's feeling it. He's cultivating it, right? To move him through this darkness. And it's moving Divine Feminine as well. This is such a beautiful reading, guys. Divine Feminine, I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. She's receiving that energetically, guys. She's receiving the love of God and the universe and from her divine masculine without expectation, without attachment, knowing that she can just move and be free because the love is with her no matter what. Whew, this is beautiful. Divine feminine, be still. Listen, feel, and just be. Have you forgotten what is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. So again, she knows this love is everlasting. She knows that she can be still and feel and realize that this love motivates her to do better for herself, to improve herself in all ways. And she knows that when she goes from this world, it's her soul anyways. You know, she knows this connection with her masculine is super potent and super beautiful. And yeah, she's really hitting like a whole other level here, guys. I wanted to do another one, but I can't seem to find the deck. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. This was your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to work with me. All that info is down below and I'm sending you so much love. Bye, guys.